Unix timestamp and two Unix timestamp. So Unix timestamp, I think they started as one and uh, then they are incrementing every second. Unix timestamp returns that. It expects a column, whatever value you pass to it or a column to it, based on that it will compute. So in this case, I have to say Unix timestamp of current date. For performance reasons, it is quite often we store data in the form of integers in data warehousing uh, fact tables. So sometimes some people store the information in the form of Unix timestamp. If they want to convert the date and store it at the Unix timestamp, you can use this function. Because the current date will give the beginning time of that date, it has zero, 00 here, whereas here it has actual seconds part also. Now, sometimes you might have Unix timestamp and you might want to convert it back to actual date. Then what you have to do, let us see the description. Describe function to Unix timestamp. You have to give the date and then pattern. And then based upon whatever pattern you are passing, it will convert it into corresponding uh, Unix time. So you can set to Unix timestamp and you can actually pass the date. For example, in this case, order date. And I want to convert only year and month path. So I'm saying like this. So you can convert to the date the way you want. So for each and every date, I'm converting into the first date of that month. And I'm trying to get the Unix timestamp for that first date of that month. And this is what the Unix timestamp is. Just to make sure that it is working as expected, we can also set two Unix timestamp and order date. One we are passing without transformation and the other one we are passing with transformation. You can see the difference. It is giving the that date's Unix timestamp. This is giving the, uh, this is nothing but first day of that month's Unix timestamp. So two Unix timestamp actually takes the pattern also. And based on the pattern, the date will be converted and then timestamp will be converted. So instead of saying, if you want to just apply the pattern and convert into timestamp, you can use two Unix timestamp like this. And then another function which you need to be aware of is from Unix timestamp, from underscore Unix time. Now it takes the Unix time and the format and it will convert the date into whatever format you are looking for. So from Unix time returns the date. So now you can take this and say select from Unix time. And then you can say y -y 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 hyphen mm hyphen dd and then it will convert your uh, timestamp to a date. So this is how you can actually convert. You just take the Unix time, give the format and from Unix time will convert that to date. So to Unix time stamp and from Unix time are counterparts. These are the date manipulation functions which you can use to, to process your data or to apply transformations depending upon the business requirements for which you want to build the solutions. It is very, very important to have good knowledge about string manipulation functions and date manipulation functions to be a good data engineer.